afternoon everyone, welcome back to GMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I am making a fast gift box for jelly beans. This is going to be the final item in my gift hamper to my friends. So, I have just noticed that there's a tiny little bit of this not correct, and I don't want to go and get another sheet of paper right, so I'm going to try and adjust it so that that is the half, the half mark. So I am going to start scoring, actually. I'm going to score in the back one and three quarters. Now this piece of card is seven and a half by ten. So one and three quarters. Three and a half. Five and a quarter. And then the last one would be at seven. And that would give me my half inch tab. Then I'm going to turn it this way. And I want to cut it off the bottom. <laughs> so I don't know what way I'm doing it. So, right. I am going to start at the bottom. This will end up being... I want this bit cut off. So wait, I'll figure that out. Hmm, how can I get that bit cut off? How can I get that bit to the base considering the shape the pattern it is? So, I can't do it, I can't figure it out. One and three quarters. Seven and a half, nine and a quarter. Okay, so that right. I think I think it worked. By George, we've got it. I think we've got it. Right. So I am going now to score diagonally from there to there, both sides and then each one of these four rectangles. So here is what I do. I get my... I have a black line drawn down the middle at six. So I'm lining that up at six and this is where I start to go. And I can see down here I can see down here where I'm going to and I'm just diagonally keeping it in there and now I'm taking this one to the top and going up keeping it in there taking this one to the bottom going down and now on the final one I'm going up okay now I need to repeat that going up, down, up, down. So I'm going to start at the bottom six. Put that in six, is that right? Is that in six? Yes it is. Right, so I'm going to go from there. I want to get my diagonal in the six. Could do we doing that again to make it darker? Then I'm going to the top. Then I'm going to the bottom. And then I'm going to the top. Okay. And if I turn that over you'll see I have an X in each one of those. large rectangles so now you want to go ahead and burnish 
everything. Okay. Right, and those are all burnished. So you need to burnish these. Just be careful, take your time. It's not a marathon. I do them all one way and then I do them the other way. And I try not to press too hard. Come on, there we go. Okay, and the last one. I should maybe have cut my top, my bottom before I did this, but I didn't think about that, did I? I probably did that whenever I was doing it with nobody watching. But we're going to go with the flow now. We're on a roll. It's not that difficult to do. Last one. Excellent. Right, now this is going to be your tab that is going to glue to there. This is going to be the front. That's going to be the back. So we're taking off these two, one rectangle, one square. We're cutting straight down the middle of this one and this one. We're going to take this both these off at this end. Then we're going to take the top off what are going to be our two sides. Okay, and I managed to get rid of the cricket bit. Yay! Go me! Go me! I, I panicked when I saw that. I thought, oh my god, I don't want to go and cut another piece of paper. And I'm actually going to cut these score lines on both sides and remove them because it gives me a much neater finish. And I meant to do that on the top and I totally forgot. Right now I'm going to use my quick grab glue, put it on the side and bring that over. Now you've got to give that a minute to go off before you start poking and poking. So what I'm going to do is round the corners of all my top pieces. Okay, on both sides, these are going to be my lid. If I can get the last bit in, that is right. Okay, that's that done. You see it started to come apart there. That's why. I needed to give it a bit longer to go off, but the plan is that these bits go in and the X's come out. The X's come out, these bits go in and the final X needs to come out. You 
should have four bits that are in and four bits that are out. I know I've picked a really busy patterned paper and it's hard to tell and also that it does not want to stay in position. Maybe when I glue it it'll be better but you can see the facets much easier on this one. I don't know what the problem is with this one but it's beginning to get on my last nerve. Anyway, this is going to be... Let's glue it together. This is going to be the bottom. And this bit is going to be the front. Like that. And you want to take a ruler and go like that and stop popping out. It's just that one side there. Okay. It does not want to stay in. Oh, the joints there, that's why. Maybe that will help it now. Right. There we go. These are our four facets. I know it's beginning to get on my nerves, this won't stay out. And like, I have another one somewhere that I did, that I didn't have the slightest bit of pull there. There's a green one that hasn't got any decoration yet. So, why are you being a bitch? Anyway. Where's my jelly beans? Let's see if that helps. Put your jelly beans in and close her up. So I've already gone ahead. That's not the one I want to use. I want to use this smaller one. And I think I'm going to put it on the bottom this time. And I, I got this from Alina Cuttle. It's a... Uh, rosette die making kit you can put I use that one on here to make that one and I use that heart one to make that one to match with the hearts on the paper and I have to do another one because that one's in the wrong colour and I didn't like the way the paper sat it wasn't firm enough, so anyway, I think I'm going to try and put this one on at the bottom this time. Okay. Come on, sit. Like that. And that is our faceted gift box. One version, two version. I think I like this better at the bottom. And I like the smaller size. But anyway, that is how you do your faceted gift box. Very straightforward indeed. And my final gift in my gift box. So what have I done? I've done the composite box. I've done a chocolate box. And then I've done a chocolate bar box. I've done a small tissue box. And then an extra storage tissue box. I've done a lip balm box. I've done a tea book. I've done a tonic tea cakes box. 
and the last item is the jelly beans and now they are all apart from the decoration for that one they're all ready to rock and roll to their recipients hmm that will be a job for David actually I'll show you what I bought to put them in So this is my little, or should I say large, it's in a little basket and I put in some tinselly stuff at the bottom and I have everything in tissue paper and now I just have to figure out how I'm going to put my jelly beans in. and put it in its bag. It came in this little basket. It's perfect. Two pound in the pound slam. And with each with each basket you get a ribbon to make the bow and you get the bag to slide everything in and for two pound I thought that was good job perfect for what I needed it for anyway thanks for stopping by I hope you liked it um, remember to thumbs up comment subscribe share all the good things I really appreciate it when you stop by I hope you're all safe and well till the next time Jackie out